The United States is still reeling from the aftershocks of Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. The shockwaves even reaching the Vatican. The Catholic Church is speaking out, saying political violence needs to end. Current News Jessica Easthope joins us now with more. Hi, Jess. Hi, Christine. The world took a pause for a moment on Saturday, and in the days since, citizens, politicians, and religious officials have had to reset a bit, seeing just how hostile the discourse in our country has become and asking how we can reverse a dangerous trend. Take a look. 37 votes, President Trump. Former President Donald Trump Monday officially named the GOP presidential nominee at the Republican National Convention just two days after surviving an assassination attempt. Take a look at what happened. Saturday in a field in Butler, Pennsylvania, a shot and chaos. President Trump grazed by a bullet that was less than an inch from being fatal. The Holy See uniting in prayer with U.S. bishops. Church officials across the country, including Brooklyn Bishop Robert Brennan, swiftly condemned the violent act. We have to condemn violence in every form. Violence that afflicts our nation in so many ways. At the same time, we have to condemn the divisions and the rhetoric that raises the level of hatred. Meanwhile, as tens of thousands of pilgrims are expected to converge on the National Eucharistic Congress in Indiana, Chairman Bishop Andrew Cousins released his own statement on the shooting, saying, quote, We feel privileged to gather in prayer at a time with our Eucharistic Lord when our country and our world need this peace, which comes only from him. We will pray for healing of all divisions in our land and an end to violence. The nation reacting to an assault on the former president and our democratic process. But the family of Corey Comparatori, a Christian and retired firefighter fatally wounded in the shooting, is in mourning. Comparatori was killed while shielding his wife and two daughters from the gunfire. Bishop David Zubik of the Diocese of Pittsburgh, where the shooting took place, commending his actions, saying, quote, Corey Comparatori's selfless act in the face of danger speaks to his strength of character, deep faith, and dedication to serving others. On behalf of the Diocese of Pittsburgh, I extend my condolences to his family and loved ones. We join in prayer that they may feel wrapped in the comfort and love of Jesus. The shooter, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks, was killed by Secret Service snipers shortly after President Trump was hit. And Christine, the FBI, as we know, is still investigating a possible motive. Jess, what more can you tell us about the victim who was killed, Corey Comparatori? Christine, we know that the 50-year-old husband and father of two was a devoted Christian, never missed church on Sunday. He, uh, after the shooting, his daughters on Facebook said that they are living a real-life nightmare without him. Uh, Comparatory was excited to be at that rally, and his daughter Allison went on to say that her dad was a man of God, loved Jesus fiercely, and looked after his community mm -hmm. at church as well as their family. And as we know, he was shielding his wife and daughters from that shooting uh, when he was when that fatal bullet hit him so devastating Jess thanks so much we'll be praying for him thank you hi I'm Christine Persichetti anchor of Currents News if you like what you saw please hit the like button on this video and if you want to see more content just like it subscribe and click on the bell for notifications thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news